What are the common installation issues with water stop angles? Let's explore some common issues that can arise during water stop angle installation. A common issue in the industry involves poor practices when detailing water stops at wet area entries, particularly failing to ensure continuity to the end and proper sealing to both the floor and wall, especially around doorways. In many cases, water stop angles are cut short, not extending all the way to the wall, or are installed without a proper return in the case of sliding doors. Instead, sealant is often applied at the corner to treat these high-risk areas, which is insufficient. Another common oversight is failing to extend the membrane properly up to the water stop angle. The primary purpose of the water stop angle is to allow the membrane to be applied vertically, creating a watertight tank or water vessel. If the membrane is not extended over the water stop, there is a significant risk of failure at the corner, compromising the entire waterproofing system. Another issue is the improper sealing of the vertical face of the water stop, which can leave gaps where water can escape. These areas must be treated with a compatible sealant before applying the waterproofing membrane on top. Proper sealing is essential to prevent water from bypassing the water stop and compromising the waterproofing system. Next common issue is using the wrong type of screws for mechanical fixing. Or worse, fixing the water stop directly on top of the packers, which is a critical error. Even when correct screw types are installed, failing to apply sealant over the screw heads creates a high-risk area where water can penetrate, bypass the water stop, and infiltrate the internal structure. Another problematic industry practice involves raising water stops using packers. This approach introduces additional steps that are often skipped or not carried out correctly, compromising the integrity of the entire system. The first major defect occurs when raised water stops are left sitting directly on shims or packers without proper grouting underneath. Over time, the water stop will sag between the packers under load, leading to membrane failure and localized cracking in finishes like tiles. Second frequent issue is not creating a smooth transition over the water stop for the membrane to extend seamlessly. If the step is left untreated, it must be detailed using a large amount of sealant to accommodate the membrane. This is a poor practice, as oversized sealant applications can lead to adhesion problems, increasing the risk of membrane failure. In summary, these bad practices not only jeopardize the membrane's effectiveness, but can also lead to long-term structural issues, including water ingress, health issues, and damage to finishes. To avoid these risks, all steps in the installation process must be performed carefully and inspected and checked off regularly. Don't wait for consultants to point out issues. Everyone involved in the project has a role to play in delivering a quality outcome. From designers to applicators and builders managing the work, it's up to all of us to ensure high standards are met. Always raise questions if you notice an issue or spot poor practices. Never accept poor designs or workmanship. Remember, poor design can cause immediate failure, while poor application might take years to reveal its flaws, but both would result in costly rectifications. See you in the next video. Teletraining produces the most practical content for the construction industry.